Tonight, a group of Republican senators are demanding a 72-hour review period before the Senate votes on any border deal. As Fox News learns some of the details, Fox News correspondent Lucas Tomlinson has a reaction from the White House. LT. Well, election year politics will factor heavily into the fate of this Senate border bill. To put it mildly, the House Speaker says it's dead on arrival. Donald Trump says he doesn't support it. Here's Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn. The president could close that border if he wanted to close the border. He will not close the border. We can pass all the laws there are. And if they are not going to follow the law, then why are we passing yeah, something? Yep. Now, here's what's in this proposed Senate border plan. Mandatory detention of all single adults. Mandatory shutdown of the border once the average daily migrant encounters hits 5,000. And the shutdown would not lift until daily encounters reduced to less than 3,750 encounters per day. And in short, here's the plan of how many migrants would be allowed into the U.S. under the Senate deal. 150,000 per month and 1.8 million per year. That's about the population of Phoenix. President Biden reacting in a statement saying, quote, for too long, we all know the border's been broken. It's long past time to fix it. What's been negotiated would, if passed into law, be the toughest and fairest set of reforms to secure the border we've ever had in our country. It would give me, as president, a new emergency authority to shut down the border when it becomes overwhelmed. Many Republicans think the border's already overwhelmed based on the historic number of migrant encounters last month. Victory cannot come soon enough. Under crooked Joe Biden, our country is dying. Our country is dying. Our border is open and gushing. It's a big gushing wound. We have no choice within moments of my inauguration. We will begin the largest domestic deportation operation in America. No choice. We have no choice because this is not sustainable. We need to seal the border altogether. It, it is absurd to say that 5,000 people a week is, is uh, acceptable. We've stopped it in the past. A recent ABC News poll says only 18% of the country approves of the job Biden is doing on the border. A new Gallup poll says Biden's approval rating last year was the lowest of any president since Jimmy Carter. After skipping the Iowa caucuses in the New Hampshire primary, President Biden will be on the ballot for the first time in South Carolina, where he will be this weekend. And as the Senate border deal shakes out, Elon Musk is blasting Biden in front of his tens of millions of followers on X. Trump also weighing in on True Social, posting, quote, there is a 100 percent chance that there will be a major terror attack because of the border crisis. OK, let's do a little right lightning round here, Jason, shall we? On day one of this administration, who ended all border construction? Yeah, it was uh, President Joe Biden. Uh, right? look, the, 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 best, the best president in my lifetime was President, president Trump, and he did it with the existing laws. Lock down the border, get rid of the rewards and incentives, mm -hmm. re reject the amnesty. Why don't you just try enforcing the current law? And the other thing is just driving me nuts is that the president of the United States right now will not talk to the Border Patrol. They haven't talked in like two and a half years. Talk to Brandon Judd, in who's in charge of the Border Patrol Union. Mm -hmm. Do it the Border Patrol. Types. You don't need this other piece of legislation. If it was such a great piece of legislation, how come it's not out there in the light of day for all of us to read it? That This thing is so fundamentally wrong. It should be wrong and should be rejected just from the fact that they're touting and selling it, but they're not showing you the text. Day one also stopped to remain in Mexico. Day one also reinstated catch and release. OK, let's read that tweet from Elon Musk. Quote, no laws need to be passed. All that is needed is an executive order to require proof before granting an asylum hearing. That is how it used to be, Lisa. So why don't they just do it if they're as serious as a prison fight when it comes to stopping this flow at the border, which suddenly after three years after taking office, the Biden administration is taking seriously because they see the polls. Well, I mean, this is what he wants to happen. That's why he's not going to stop it. I mean, he started this crisis with his pen. He could end this crisis with his pen. And instead of doing that, what the Senate wants to do is codify this invasion into law. I mean, you saw those numbers, 150,000 illegal immigrants a month, over 1.8 million a year. That's an invasion in perpetuity if the Senate gets its way. So that's what he wants. And I love how he says, oh, I need this bill so I can shut down the border if it's overwhelmed. What do you call over 6 million illegal immigrants that have come into the country? More than 33, the population of 33 states. 
right? He already has the emergency authority to shut this thing down if he wanted to, but not only does he not want to, but he's fighting states like Texas who are trying to get the job done. So this is going exactly as planned. This is what Joe Biden wanted. Tommy, I want to get your reaction to Hakeem Jeffries. He's the House Minority Leader. He's blaming, ding, 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 Republicans for the border crisis. At a certain point, uh, we are going to have to publicly call the question of our Republican colleagues in a variety of ways. Mm. Uh, when it comes to doing what is right for America's national security interests and uh, for fixing our broken immigration system. Or we're just going to make it clear that Republicans have no interest in dealing with the border issue. They'd rather try to weaponize it for political purposes. Tommy, always judge people on their actions and not their words. All I know is in Texas, the governor there is trying to put up razor wire in the most heavily trafficked areas to stop this in some way since the feds won't. And yet the Biden administration's fighting him tooth and nail on that. This whole border deal, they want the perception that they're taking the border seriously without actually doing anything to take the border seriously. But as you said, they see the polls. They know that this looks bad for them right now. But I've always maintained Democrats, they're not stupid. They see the long game of this. Six million plus illegal immigrants already in this country. So they're OK, in my opinion, with taking a little heat on this now because they know that this is going to pay out for them for years and years to come because the next stage of this is going to be amnesty, vote Voting rights, six million plus since Biden took office, probably closer to 10, if we're being honest. You don't have to win the hearts and minds of the American people if you've got millions of people that are indebted to you. And that is the long term plan. Do not be fooled. They are not stupid, maybe sinister, maybe very strategic, but not stupid. Pay attention. And when presidential elections come down to a few thousand votes in six or seven swing states, it can make all the difference in the world to your point. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.